hello everybody welcome back in this video we are going to add script for timeline animation so let's create a script here so i will just uh, name this script uh, on trigger uh, play okay whatever you want you can name it uh, i will just name it like this and uh, let's open this script inside visual studio and uh, now what we want is that we want to create some functions here so first of all i will just uh, i will just set up some things here on the bus staff so we need a trigger enter option so we can add a cube and uh, then definitely we can uh, add a trigger on that cube so let's wait for some seconds okay so now you can see that uh, we have the script the first thing is to add using uh, playables sorry uh, unity engine dot playables okay so it will include timeline in our uh, scene and then we can uh, just create a public and uh, we can say play sorry uh, so here we will say public sorry i was misspelled public playable uh, director and we can name it uh, for example uh, time line if you have multiple timelines you can add uh, the separated timelines like uh, uh, blue uh, bus timeline and like this red bus timeline like this and we will just say timeline equal to in start function we are getting get component and then we will get the playable director component that's it for initializing the timeline okay so that's a very important script before moving further we will just go to our unity and uh, here we will uh, just go to bus uh, for cut scene and bus stop okay and in bus stop we will just create a, a box here so we'll just right click 3d object and we can add a cube and we can add that cube here and then we can just make it bigger okay so like this So we have this cube. Uh, definitely for everything, you can create transitions and other things as well. But I am not uh, explaining everything in this particular course. Uh, that things you can uh, definitely do that uh, with your own sense and with your own technique. Anyhow, this is our box, and we'll just make it trigger. Okay, so it should be trigger and then uh, we will just uh, uh, hide the mesh collider mesh renderer and uh, this box we can add it inside the bus stop and we can rename it to uh, maybe the animation cube or like this okay so you can name it whatever you want so now when we reach on this uh, box we should play the animation but before that one more important thing is that uh, whenever we will uh, move these uh, th this to that point we want to disable some other things as well okay so that's also very important so first of all we want to check that if that bus has uh, has the tag so here you can see the tag is player okay so if we will create a function here so for example if we will create a white uh, on trigger inter function uh, then here we will just say if other dot tag is equal to player then we want to do something okay so 
here one more thing is that if you want to create some multiple uh, multiple if you want to add some multiple animations uh, for separate uh, multiple timelines then you can use this uh, name as well okay so if you if uh, or rather using the tab we can say if other dot name equal to uh, red bus or blue bus or any other thing I'm just keeping these things uh, simple and uh, definitely you can do so uh, with your own needs and uh, with your own animations for running out the timeline it's very easy uh, we can just say timeline dot play and uh, similarly for stopping the timeline we can uh, say timeline dot stop function if we want to do so uh, but uh, for now i will just uh, add timeline dot play for testing purpose okay so now if we enter in that uh, cube the timeline animation should start so let's see how we'll do that so here we can just uh, uh, move further and uh, we'll just add the script on that cube which is uh, actually uh, where it is which is yeah this one and uh, here on this we can just add that cube on trigger play and here you can see the timeline so we'll just add this purple bus animation timeline okay and one more important thing is if we go to this timeline you can see that uh, this timeline is enabled play on awake so we don't need it we want to mm, uh, play this animation on trigger enter okay and uh, that's nice you can play that animation on some uh, key press as well or with input keys or on a button as well so it's up to you that how you can do that okay so it's up to you anyhow uh, now if we go to timeline and uh, if we play the game you will see that the uh, timeline will not play at all so let's see how it will look like so yeah you can see timeline is stopped it's not playing so if we move that our bus to that uh, section hopefully uh, that will uh, animate then then our timeline will start so let's see if we uh, move this bus sorry okay and um, if we move that bus to the that point then you will see that our timeline will start so it's a little bit different game so difficult okay so now you can see that when we touch with that cube you can see that we have started our animation but uh, here you can see that uh, missing component exception there is no playable director attached to the animation cube game object but a script is trying to access it so what is the problem so that if we select the animation cube we have this uh, animation director there is two audio listener in this scene okay that we can uh, delete it no problem that we can fix it but for this we have this script and we have this playable director so what is the problem Rap mode you can select loop hold etc if you want to do so and the bindings and we have this bar label director so what is the problem okay the problem is that uh, we was initializing it uh, in star function with uh, getting the component so we don't need it at all okay so now what will happen if we reach the uh, bus stand the hopefully we will start the animation so let's see how it will look like so if we move it we move to the that position 
let's see yeah you can see now the animation plays and our characters are moving uh, but the problem is that uh, we have still this bus in action and uh, also we uh, we have the uh, we don't have the uh, the ca right camera uh, enabled so what we want is in this script that uh, we want to add a public game object and camera object or we can say the rcc cam like this and then when we will trigger then we will also disable the camera before that so we can just say the rcc cam dot set active will be false and uh, then let's try it out so let's see and again i just uh, make a mistake that uh, we have just called this camera but we didn't have it added this camera here so let's uh, select this animation cube and we will just add this rcc camera here okay so now let's see how it will look like so i think now our camera will be switched hopefully let's see okay yeah you can see that we reached the bus stop and our camera is switched and uh, you can see nice animation here uh, although you can't see the main bus and also we want to we want to hide this uh, bus as well the main bus so we will just do some more programming here public game object and we'll say main bus and we'll say public game object and animation bus and what we want to do we are keeping things very simple so here we'll say that we main bus dot set active will be files and uh, animation bus dot set active will be true let's see what it will look like so let's move back to unity and uh, here you will see some more fields now and we have a main bus so we can just uh, add the main bus here okay so i'm just adding the bus purple definitely we can add it dynamically as well but uh, for now i'm just adding this uh, bus here and uh, the purple bus will just add this animation bus and let's see what will happen now so now let's see uh, how it will look like hopefully it will be better now so although you can add some transitions as well so that you can found something better and uh, here you can see that when we reach our purple bus is active and our blue bus is not active here so that was the problem so here you can see the purple bus is active and animation is fine uh, okay what um, we need here is that we need to make this animation cube a little bit small and let's add it to the 
front here so that when we will reach our, our bus will reach here then our animation will start okay so this is first thing uh, the other thing is that uh, I don't know when we start uh, the blue bus started at this time so uh, for some reason yeah and uh, okay so this was the bus so let's go to this section animation cube and rather uh, hiding the bus purple we will just add bl bus blue okay uh, main bus so let's see what it will look like now so yeah that's good so now when we'll reach at the certain point our will switch sorry the animation will start definitely you can add some sound effects if you want to do you can add some transitions if you want to do and uh, for now I will just keep it simple and I will leave uh, everything to you so that what you can do with your own so let's okay so now you can see when we will reach that point you can see that our bus is disabled and this bus is enabled and animation is moving very nicely yeah that's good uh, now the thing is that uh, when animation stops we should play the game again and one more thing is that this UI if you don't want to show this UI uh, you can actually disable this as well for time so here I will just add one more game object public game object uh, the uh, game object will be the uh, main UI like this and then uh, we can just disable it out so here we will say main UI sorry UI what was the name okay main UI dot set active we will say false like this okay so that's great so now when we will reach the point we will see that our UI will be disabled as well so we have our UI where is our UI game UI new so let's add it here let's see what it will look like now so let's move further and here you can see that UI is also not here and now you can see very nice animation that's great we can also add some sounds to this animation if you want to do so and uh, also now we will move further and we will see that how we can enable everything again and how we can stop the animation as well 